All right, we see Mark Pathy there. That's Canada's Mark Pathy with that unmistakable flag on the shoulder, all set with three others to make some space history. Right, and we get our first look here now. Is At Cape Canaveral, Florida, the first mission to the International Space Station from America you see Mark there getting, without uh, an active uh, NASA well, astronaut. Dragon, SpaceX, confirmed crew displays are configured for launch. On board a SpaceX rocket, owned by billionaire Elon Musk, on this day, effectively a private charter. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. Pathy, who runs an investment firm, and two of the other three on board are super wealthy non-astronauts, said to have paid some $55 million for the trip. It's been uh, incredible. but In training for challenge. months, Pathy spoke uh, with CBC you know, News ahead of the launch so while still in pre-flight isolation. It's already been a life-changing experience for me, and I haven't even launched yet. Challenging, but definitely fulfilling and, and amazing. To be clear, this is not mere space tourism. Once on board the ISS, science experiments will be nearly nonstop. Pathy will test something called holoportation. I'm here. In this is a video demonstration by its developers, moving holograms that interact with each other. So what do you want to show me today? In real life, these two are hundreds of kilometers apart. Well, that is great. I can really touch this. One practical use for it, says Pathy, doctors who could lend expertise in faraway places, almost in person, instantly. That has uh, big implications for telemedicine. Uh, which, of course, uh, is, a, is a big uh, issue in remote communities in Canada. So. Two, one, zero. Ignition. Stop. And with that, off they went. Next stop, the ISS. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.